Hey there, Ramble Fours. Welcome back to another episode of the Digital Ramble with myself, Chris Gamble in the UK, and over there in Houston, Texas, JJ Cannon. Chris Gamble, great to see you again. And we have just an absolutely incredible episode lined up for today. We have our good friends over at Logitech joining us. Pike. Yeah, I'm really excited about Logitech coming on the show. It's a product we've talked about many times, but you know, we have we have talked to them at, at conferences and trade shows in the past, but to get them in person on the show for an interview, it's going to be excellent. And it follows on from last week's interview with Sonos, which went down a storm. Episode 76 was huge. And this one's just going to be as big, JJ. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Logitech and their Harmony line has been something that my firm has been integrating for many, many years and has just been a, a jewel of the, of the devices that we've been adding to our home uh, integration, home automation solution. So man, I am super fired up about getting this episode out to our listening audience and all of our digital ramblers. Yeah, and we'd like to th thank all the digital ramblers, especially the Patreons. They've been great supporters of the show since day one and you too can become a Patreon of the Digital Ramble. Go to patreon.com, search for the Digital Ramble and for as little as a dollar a month, you can be a direct influence on the show. Yeah, absolutely. And for those that are new to the show and joining us maybe for the first time, I'm JJ Cannon, CEO of Digital Delight down here in Houston, Texas. You can find us at digitaldelight.com. We focus on creating incredible experiences through using technology, whether it's in your home or in your business. Yeah, and I'm JJ's co-host over here in the UK. I run a business called Customized. and We cover the east of England and the London area. We're available throughout the lockdown period and beyond. Look for us on customize.uk.com. Hey Gamble, and you know, for all of our past episodes that, that we've put out there, we've been doing this for a good year and a half, maybe two years now. And we're coming up on episode 76. Is that right? Where are we at right now? No, we're on, on 77 now. 77, <laughs> oh my gosh, man. They just blow by so fast and they're so much fun. And really great to go back and listen to. And you can check us out at the digitalrambleshow.com. You can also find us on Facebook, on YouTube. We have some Instagram posts. And we're on 11 <laughs> podcast streaming services. Yeah, and if you want to be involved on the show, you've probably seen these interviews uh, thinking, how can I be involved in the show? Easy. Email us, direct message us, hit us up on Facebook Messenger. If you want to email, it's digitalrambleshow at gmail.com. All right, friends, we're getting ready to get into the show. If you would get those comment fingers ready, start clicking and clacking, putting some comments down below. Gamble, push that button. Let's go. Right, Ramble Force, we are back with our guest this week, and we have Pike from Logitech, who's joining us for episode 77. And... Pike is from Logitech. He's calling in from the, are you on the East Coast, West Coast? Whereabouts are you? Well, I'm in the Bay Area, so near San Francisco. Okay. So definitely, yeah, the sunny West Coast. Yeah, so we're juggling time zones here. I'm in the UK, JJ's in Texas, and Pike over there on the West Coast. Pike, introduce yourself to the audience. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what your role is at Logitech. Okay, well, thanks, Chris. My name is Pike. Uh, quick introduction because uh, I can go on forever. My name is Pike. I've been with the company for over 14 years. And within that time, I've spent the whole time within Harmony, which is a great BG within the Logitech um, family to be part of. And I've uh, had many different roles from customer service to uh, QA to database team uh, manager. I've done several things within the company, but what I'm doing lately is really focusing on customer experience with our installers, looking at our roadmap and uh, hosting webinars and doing trainings. Uh, so that's a little bit about my background. Glad to be here. And Digital Ramblers, we're so excited to have Pike on. And so whenever you call a home technology professional out that actually supports the Harmony product, Pike is the man that trains us to be able to provide you with the best product and experience for your home. And so Pike, man, it is fantastic to, to have you on and great to see you. Um, can you. Can you give us a rundown of the different Logitech Harmony solutions that are available? Because there's there's quite a few. I mean, there, there's y'all make it to where you have a different flavor for different people's needs. Yep. 
Yeah, no, a great question, JJ. And uh, again, JJ um, always enjoy doing the trainings. That's part of, part of my role that I really um, enjoy because it allows me to really understand what, the voice of the installer. Um, anytime I take a call from a customer as well, and we take that a, a very serious look at how can we potentially improve the uh, experience on our hardware, software, and so forth. Now, talking about Harmony remotes, we definitely have an extended line, starting with the Harmony 665, which is a great remote, but it's an IR only remote. So it can definitely control a lot of your conventional devices that you may have in your AV system, but you may have some devices that use Bluetooth or IP and so forth. And that's where we designed uh, products with a hub. So we have these hub-based products such as the Harmony Companion, Harmony Elite, and then for the Pro Channel, which we'll talk a little bit about later, we have some other hub-based products. Now these hub-based products really allow to benefit from different technologies such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also being able, most importantly, what we see, say if you may not even have uh, devices that require Bluetooth or uh, use an integration for your lighting or smart speakers, the one big use case that should apply to any Harmony customer is not having to aim the remote. With the 665, it's a great remote, but you gotta remind yourself that you do need to aim it. So if your dog is gonna run across or a child or there is sunlight, it, there could be some interference. Most of the time, again, our emitters are very strong, but you have to aim the remote. So what's nice here, for instance, my TV behind, um, I do a lot of QA still with the team as well, as one of the hats I, I wear. You know, I have over 10 devices crammed in the cabinet behind here. It's currently going under renovation because I have an 11-month-old, so she's been pulling it apart, so I'm still <laughs> under construction. But what I'm trying to say here is everything is hidden everything can be controlled by the remote. So the remote can be right here on my couch, don't need to aim it, I can be in the kitchen, and it will control all these devices because the hub is actually doing all the control. So that's a very important use case on our hub-based products, and we can talk more about some of the different uh, technologies. So that's kind of a high overview. And then within these hub-based products, we have different remotes such as the Harmony Companion, which is kind of an entry um, product for our hub-based products. It's a great remote, but it doesn't have backlight. It doesn't have an LCD screen. So there are some limitations, but for a lot of customers that might be just sufficient for them because they wanna just control these devices behind a cabinet. Now, if you start looking at our Harmony Elite, for instance, and the Harmony Pro products like Pro and Pro 2400, all these remotes come with an LCD screen and it brings a lot of additional benefits such as having your favorite channels on the remote and there's a great feature, you can grab that remote and actually hit the ESPN button, and it's actually gonna turn on all your devices and set it to the actual um, favorite channel for you. And we'll talk a little bit more about how all that works, but I just wanted to give a quick overview of our um, Harmony lineup. So the IR product is a great product. It works with our uh, IR compatible devices, and then we have our uh, base products. So hopefully that kind of sums it up in a, in a quick, um, summary yeah absolutely that's um you know an impressive range and that the, that range fits lots of different budgets budgets as well and that's yeah you know we choose the right remote sometimes based on budget but also maybe based on the amount of devices now you said you had 10 devices there approximately yeah what, what are we talking about how many devices can we consolidate onto a hub or say for example consolidate onto the harmony elite or the harmony pro remote that's a great question chris so our entry model products can range anywhere from um, eight devices to 10, such as the 665. And then if we look at the Harmony Companion, our entry hub-based product supports up to eight devices. And our more premium high-end hub-based products, such as the Elite and the Harmony Pro can support up to 15 devices. And then our um, Pro product, the Pro 2400 that we released last year can support up to 30 devices. Wow. Now, that being said, that we're talking about conventional IR devices. There are some uh, differences. So let me just explain. So I'm controlling, for instance, my smart lights. Now the integrations that we have, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, we're not gonna count every single bulb. So it's still counted as one device. Same thing with smart speakers, such as Sonos or Heos. We count that as kind of one system. Now in my house, 
I have nine rooms and I kind of lost count. I think I have 14 Sonos speakers. <laughs> I'll have to do a little check, but it's counted as one system. So, so, but yeah, for conventional AV, it's anywhere, like as I mentioned, starting from like eight to going up all the way to 30. And all of that is on Logitech.com under specification pages. You can always uh, look that up. You know, something that's super uh, in impressive is the amount of devices that you can control. And, you know, I think that you touched on it uh, briefly there, but one, you can actually control it with just a remote uh, that is direct and in, in line. So if you have devices in a cabinet, you got to open up the cabinet, mm -hmm. and point the remote yep. at it. With the hub-based products, you can close the cabinet and control the devices with the remote. But man, mm -hmm. I, love, I love the flexibility that, that you can use a um, uh, mobile phone to control mm -hmm. your devices. You can yeah. use a tablet to control your devices. You can use voice control to control, control your devices. So how many IR codes or devices can you actually control, which is a little bit different. You know, one is, you know, the amount of devices that you can put on one remote, but then mm -hmm. there's also the vastness. Of so when it comes to the devices that we control, we talked about the, the maximum of devices, which again, with Hub-based products, it's a little bit broader when you look at specific integrations, for instance. Now, when it comes to our database, what's very important is not just the amount of devices that we control, but how we control them. And without getting too technical, what I want to just explain to our audience is, yes, Harmony supports up to 275,000 devices in our database. <laughs> and we're constantly not just adding new devices. So what we do is, and, and this is since the birth of Harmony, and this is one of the core values, is this database is constantly evolving. It's constantly being improved. And it could be even a small change or a big change. And it's managed by a team of dedicated device analysts. So just to give you an example, if a customer calls into our tech support or an installer and they uh, have an issue with a device, maybe it's just simply missing a command or it's not in our database yet, or it might need an additional input. The uh, customer representative can actually fix that with the customer. And if they don't have the tools, they escalate it to our data team and within usually within two business days we end up fixing the device and the beauty of that is now anyone who adds the new version of that device so a new customer or an installer that now is on another job with the same product now has that new version of that device with all the improvements in there you know i myself i'm not dedicated to the team but i talk to so many installers out in the field I fixed, you know, with the help of our team, another five devices last week from small changes to just adding to an installer in, in Australia that needed a Samsung TV that wasn't in our database. Well, we've added it within 24 hours. Or there was a special mute command for a high-end AVR. Well, we added that command, and now everyone can enjoy that newer version for, of that device. So that's a core value of that, that database. And we'll touch a little bit more about that based on the questions that we get on th that power of our database and making sure that that gives you that, that perfect control, that one-touch experience that we're uh, aiming for. Yeah, I've, I've never struggled with finding a device on the database. Always had great success with that. Even some ex obscure audio products like amplifiers, two-channel stuff, CD players, older DVD players, Going back, the legacy devices are, are heavily supported. But yeah. what I always encourage customers to do is to try and get their smart home devices connected to the hub as well. So mm -hmm. Logitech have made that really easy with their hub, the, the ability to scan the network and it will start to find, and you highlighted a couple, Sonos, uh, maybe some games consoles, maybe some media players. Mm -hmm. Can you just shout out some of the more popular smart home devices that are working nicely and you know there's great integration on the logitech platform yeah this is actually a two-part question so what chris is talking about two things one we want to make sure that it's easier for you to add your devices and this scanning actually applies to some home control products but also av devices and what we're trying to avoid you is having to enter the model number so any smart TV that's connected to the internet you're like in your, on your network, uh, most of them will actually broadcast the model number. So the majority of manufacturers, Sony, LG, Samsung, all of these manufacturers, we actually can retrieve the actual model number, saving you time. Maybe it's wall mounted, you can't find the manual, and we help you really 
get that device information to save you time setting it up. The other part of the scanning is some devices we actually have to discover, like we support, for instance, Philips U. We were one of the first to integrate with Philips U back in 2014. And making it a little bit easier, so you dis we discover the hub on your network, you just basically hit the little pairing button on the U-Bridge, and now your U-Bridge is tied to your Harmony account. And now you can start controlling this um, directly on the remote, or you can decide to um, add it to your activities and do all kinds of cool activities like dinner time, watch a movie and have it dim the lights, and when you're done, li uh, brighten the lights. And just to circle back to making home control easy on the remote, because one core value of Harmony is we want to make sure that anyone in the house can control it. Of course, our hub, which JJ mentioned, is great. You can actually use your smartphone or your tablet. And that's great if you're upstairs, uh, your remote's downstairs, you just want to turn off the TV, or you're actually you're at work, for instance, maybe by the time our office is no longer at home, <laughs> you want to check up on the kids, and you can actually see if they're watching TV at home. And if they are, you can turn it off and tell them to do homework. So these technologies are great, but we also want to make sure, speaking of kids, that for instance, the babysitter can control the smart lights and maybe the babysitter is grandma. So I'm actually going to give you a demo here. It's a great thing that I have my Logitech meetup camera here for all my trainings and webinars and being able to use this with our audience. So I'm going to go zoom out a little to give you a small little demo of how we simplify things. So behind here, that's the dining room. And I just want to show you how easy it is to control those lights. So here we have a Harmony Pro 2400. It has the home control buttons. These are also available on the Harmony Companion, Elite, and Harmony Pro. And these home control buttons simplify that control. So you can actually customize any of these buttons to control your smart lights. And it can be an individual light or it can be a light group. So these lights in the dining room, they're actually three different lights and I just basically held the button for two seconds. I'll feel that little haptic feedback and it turns off all those three U lights. And if I quickly give it a short press, it turns them back on. And then you can also control individual lights as well. For instance, um, I could have a specific lamp in the bedroom that I just want to control. And I can actually also use the rocker button to actually um, brighten them or dim them. So now anyone in the household can control the smart lighting. Last week I was at a client's house and they had another manufacturer's remote and and uh, they needed it replaced. And so I put the Logitech Harmony Pro in for them and it was in their theater room. And in their theater room they had, mm -hmm. it was warm. And I noticed that they had an Ecobee thermostat system throughout their house. And I was able to scan their system and add that Ecobee thermostat directly under devices for them so that they could actually from the couch manage their climate but not only in that theater room but they could from that remote they could manage the climate throughout the entire property very simply um, and and it was an extra experience that they didn't know was possible uh, and, yeah. and Logitech Harmony made it so easy for them. Yeah you can even tie that into your activities so if you want to Netflix and have a little cooler <laughs> you can actually tie this right into your activity. So they actually set the activity to preset the temperature at a certain experience when you're watching a movie. So it's not too hot. You got that ideal temperature set right there for you. So I, I agree. It's, it's a really nice way to tie it all in together. Yeah. Activities are the, the simplest way to, to control the home, to control things in the room and activities don't need to have, dozens and dozens of commands it can be the most simple commands like watch netflix and it literally just turns on the tv pulls up the the app built into the panasonic sony samsung tv for example and just opens up that app directly without that navigation through menu or home and scrolling through apps and then there could be more complicated activities that are made simple with one button press that's climate lighting shades and your av volume presets favorite stations a whole list of commands combined into one simple touch screen press or yell at your favorite voice assistant and she or he or whoever you've got you've chosen in your home will perform that activity through the logitech hub yeah exactly uh, chris uh, you make a great point something we haven't even covered yet so what chris is talking about are basically our activities so harmony uh, uses activities 
Um, you can look at it as a macro of certain commands, but there is a lot more than to that macro than just sending a bunch of commands. And this kind of gets back to our database. You know, some other, um, if you in HomeKit, it's a scene or so scenes, macros, activities, it all comes down to kind of enjoying your entertainment. It's something that you're doing. Maybe you're watching TV or you're playing a game. So by creating these activities like watch TV, watch Netflix, it allows anyone in the house to enjoy the entertainment without needing to understand how it works. So again, coming back to what maybe a guest or anyone in the home. So what we want to do is we want to create this one touch experience, meaning I press one button and everything happens. And this is where our database becomes again, very important. We need to make sure that we understand how long we have to wait before we can set the Samsung TV to HDMI 2. If it's a newer Samsung, we only need to wait five seconds. If it's an older Samsung, we may have to wait eight seconds or 10 seconds. We feel that that's uh, basically Harmony's responsibility, not to the end user or the installer. So that's why we have that dedicated database team. They are constantly making sure that we put in the right values for all these devices. So when you build your macro, and really the macro can be built in less than two minutes. So you create that activity, and all you tell us, okay, these are the devices I'm using, and these are the inputs that the TV need to be set to and the AVR or your soundbar. And really that's all there is to it. After that, we do everything in the back end. So we also make that programming far less complex. The complexity is on our end, not on the end user. So it allows you to pick up the remote and just start the activity. You talked about how easy it was to build an activity or build a macro. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it only takes two minutes to, to generate. In the past, you know, I've worked with a lot of integration and automation um, control systems, and that would take hours, pulling my hair out sometimes <laughs> to make it work correctly. Y'all have taken all of that out and made it so simple. But in addition, whenever you create that macro and whenever you sync up that remote, it not only syncs it to the remote, but it syncs it to your wireless device as well as your tablet. You do not need to create a different program for each device. It just does it across all platforms. Yeah, you make a great point that I haven't even touched on. The way it works, just so everyone understands, is a Harmony account lives on the cloud, and there's a huge benefit to that. The benefit is when it's on the cloud, if the remote ever gets destroyed, and it happens, the dog may eat the remote or it gets lost, <laughs> Or as a Harmony customer, for instance, we haven't even talked about this, you may upgrade your remote. The fact is it lives on the cloud. Now when you do the programming, it all comes down to the IR-based remote. Now when it comes to the hub, it's actually even, even a little bit more advanced. The hub basically grabs the, uh, the account information from the cloud, stores it locally. So even if the internet goes down, it can still control your IR devices, even some local IP devices if the network is still up. So it's not like it needs internet all the time, but again, keep in mind if you're using streaming services, Netflix, you're gonna need internet anyway. So, but what happens is the hub actually has that configuration and the remote just basically gets that configuration from the hub, but the brain lives on the hub. So that way, if you, know, you use the app or the remote or voice, it's all done through the hub. They're just instructing the hub what to do. So that way things are not really running out of sync. The only way that things can run out of sync, if you maybe have a small child hitting buttons, if not everything is behind the cabinet. Again, not a good reason to put things in a cabinet with a hub-based product, or if your power goes out. But for that, we actually have a help button. And the help button allows you to quickly synchronize things. And again, you don't necessarily need to understand how this is all wired. You basically, we walk you through a bunch of questions and a lot of times we instantly fix it. And what do I mean by instantly fixing it? Well, a lot of these devices actually have better commands than the original remote. What do I mean with that? We can send a separate command that will always turn it on, never accidentally turn it off or vice versa, always turn it off. Same thing with the input commands, right? On your original remote, you have to bring up an input menu and keep toggling. We, for many manufacturers, can instantly jump to HDMI 2 or 3. So when a customer hits help, we automatically fire the commands for power and inputs, depending on the manufacturers. But if you have a Sony, Samsung, LG, some of these 
more premium brands, those devices all have these better codes. If they don't have those codes, again, help will still fix. It's just gonna ask you, is the TV on? If you hit no, we then fire the command. And then you keep going through these questions and we basically fix the activity. And now everything is back in sync. Such an easy to use system. Our customers really enjoy it. We've been installing it for many, many years. And just to confirm for our audience, it's not just tied to one room. It's not just in your primary TV room or media room. You can have a Logitech Harmony remote, different handsets maybe. You know, mm -hmm. we've talked about the range. You can have them in various rooms in the house and toggle between them on the app. Correct, yeah. So what we do is with the hub-based products, we actually allow you to name the hub based on the room that it's situated in. So, you know, we have one in the living room, the bedroom, I have one in my uh, daughter's room. She doesn't have a TV, but I definitely use the Harmony to trigger specific activities for her to go to sleep. So it allows me on the app to switch easily between one room to another. And each account can have up to 15 remotes in one household, all tied into the same email. Yeah, and we're talking about an affordable device here, uh, guys. This is, you know, it's not entry level, low budget stuff, It's but it's not that high ticket pricing that you might associate with uh, an, an all-in-one remote control. This is lower labor costs because it's quick to set up. It's low buy-in. It's not a high priced item. Very reliable though, very flexible, expandable. You're not you know, we talked about some of them going up all the way to 30 devices, which gives you so much confidence going into the future of purchasing new device, new set-top box, new smart home devices, and expanding your, your control system. And it's just been a win since the day we shifted from kind of legacy control systems over to Logitech. We've really enjoyed it. And JJ, I know that you're enjoying a big feature of it, and that's the, the Pro range. Tell us a little bit about that, JJ, and then Pike will start to tell us more about the Pro setup. Yeah, the Pro setup is, is fantastic. And, and what our favorite benefit of it is, as, as well as with our client uh, being a Pro affiliate, is the portal. The back-end aspect of things uh, really helps with management as well as provides a higher uh, delivery for our clients. In the sense, they, they switch from one cable box provider to another and uh, it's working and, and functioning, except it's not functioning on the remote. And the client can simply call us and ask us to change over from one uh, video provider to the other and remotely from our office, we can make those adjustments. So it increases the quality of service, expedites their, their, their needs. And uh, the client is very happy and, and also is in awe <laughs> <laughs> that we don't have to roll a truck for them. And it usually costs them much less than us having to roll a truck out there for them. That's one of the benefits of the Pro Live. So Pike, there's there's two different Pro products available. There was one that's been around for a long time and one that, that launched last year. Correct, yeah. So we launched the Harmony Pro back in 2016 and it was an upgraded version of the Harmony Elite. So some of the differences uh, making it a more of a uh, Pro product is support for multi-zone AVRs. So with the Harmony Pro, we count it as one device, but you can have up to like four zones. And it really ties in nicely in creating a nice activities to switch the zone on and off and tie multiple zones into that same activity. So we added some more features. We also made sure that it has the IR precision kit, which is really important for installers because we want to make sure that if someone's going to clean the AV cabinet, that these blasters that were more uh, designed for do-it-yourselfers uh, don't get moved around the home. So we've really catered more to the installer and building more features as we go. We still have features that we're planning for uh, the Pro and Pro 2400 exclusively to, to these products. So just to help the uh, installer more. So yeah, so we have the Pro 2400 right here. So this is a product that we launched uh, at Cedia last year. So we wanted to make sure that we got a lot of feedback from JJ, from Chris, and, and many installers that are very passionate about, you know, surfacing their customers with these products. And talking about the portal, the one thing I wanted to mention before I uh, jump more into this product, the portal, as JJ mentioned, with these hub-based products, JJ can directly connect to the hub and make small changes. So you may decide, you know, we're still stuck at home. I'm going to add HBO or ESPN2. Now, the pro, a remote has already been programmed, but now you don't have those favorites. So what JJ can do, or Chris, they can actually, through the portal, 
connect to your hub, add those favorites, and it automatically is putting a sync. And like magic, you pick up the remote, it does a sync, and voila, it's there. So it's a real great tool that we're building out for our installers. So that was something that was high in demand, but was also in demand for installers is let's work on a hub-based product that really also caters to some of their needs. So this is the Pro 2400. We're not gonna go in a lot of detail, but I'm gonna give you a quick little introduction to it. So this is uh, the front, and then this is the, the back shows you all the features. So you, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually quickly take the hub out of the box. So I don't have a nice unboxing table, so we're just gonna <laughs> have to do it uh, this way. Like one cool thing about that, Pike, is is with the traditional hubs, it, it's wirelessly connected to the network, whereas this guy here, you can actually hardwire to the network, and it's PoE, which yeah. for, for the pro channel is a fantastic option. It really gives you a lot exactly. of flexibility. Yeah, so uh, what JJ pointed, exactly, seeing is believing, so I figured I might as well uh, show you here, so... I now look like the guy from Star Trek. So, <laughs> so you can see there's the Ethernet, it's PoE, and it's PoE+. Plus. We okay. have now six dedicated 3.5 IR mirrors. Because installers, what they'll do is they have clients that, believe it or not, they might have three TVs mounted to the wall. Mm -hmm. And they want to see, you know, maybe they're betting on horses or they're really into sports or betting on, on horses and sports games it really allows to really cater to that experience or they'll do it in small restaurants and bars. So having these ports really allows you to control a lot of times the multiple TVs with the same brand where we can isolate the IR ports. So that's a benefit that we have there and they can be individually assigned to specific ports. And then also the installer can easily wall mount it as well. We even provide the screws and the plugs. And this guy right here, this is not a Wi-Fi antenna. This is an actual RF antenna. So what it does is the one thing we talked about closed cabinet control, but a lot of installers, what they'll do is they do a much better job than I've done here. They actually will wall mount it and move everything into a different room. So it's just the TV and the sound bar or the speakers. So it's on my list eventually, but <laughs> I think I might first move before I do it here. So what you can do now is you actually put the hub in a complete different room. Now, depending on the house, at a certain point, the remote and the hub may lose communication over range because these two guys talk to them uh, each other with RF technology. Of course, the mobile app connects to it through the internet, through Wi-Fi, and this could be connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet with Pro 2400. But the range can, you know, on a Harmony Elite or Pro, could be anywhere up to 50 feet. Now the environment may change too, depending on the environment. So you might only get 30 feet. Now what we've done with this product is we've created this RF antenna to really significantly boost the actual range between the remote and the hub. So now you get up to a hundred feet of range. Wow. All here with this SMA antenna, which we're not gonna go into details, but it can even be removed. So you could actually put the antenna outside of the AV rack. So. That's the Pro 2400 here. Figure I'll give you a quick little uh, demo. And, and Mike, does that does that come with a one year warranty, two year warranty? What what is? So all the Pro products to, to service uh, our installers have actually two years of warranty. So the Pro and Pro 2400 come with two year uh, warranty on the product as well. And because it's done by a professional installer, what we see is our, our return rate on, on actual hardware is less than a percent. It's, yeah. it's very, very low. But that's where we have our customer service. So we have a customer service that's open seven days a week. And for installers, we also have a specific dedicated dealer line. And it's just a known fact. So I started in customer service, but the agents that are in customer service now actually have you know, far more history in customer service than myself. I was there for about four years. There's a lot of agents that have been there eight, 10 years. And I get the opportunity with some of my colleagues to also do returning trainings for them to educate them on newer features that we might've rolled out or um, working better with installers. So that's just like our database is constantly improving as well. Yeah, we, we've definitely had a high customer happiness factor. They've been so happy with what Logitech has brought to their TV rooms, home cinemas, living rooms, where they've got that single control because it's one of the biggest frustrations and pain points is to have that arm of your armchair or sofa with four or five remotes 
remote controls that have slipped down the back of the sofa. Um, you open up a drawer and it's got three or four remote controls and they all look very similar if it's the same brand, Blu-ray player, TV, um, and, and other set-top boxes. And it, it's just that clarity, that moment where you hand it over to the client, they pick it up and they just press that one activity and you just see that it's at that moment it, it clicks for it them. It clicks, yeah. Right, yeah. I totally get this now. And we actually make a point of always demonstrating it to clients we're lucky enough to have a showroom which unfortunately is closed right now but we we take time and show them what it does so they get that aha moment and mm -hmm. then they're excited <laughs> about that coming when we when we do bring it to their house and what we've done for installers and consumers and if you're watching this you can look it up as well so if you go to support.myharmony.com we have now um remodeled the customer user guide really focusing just on the remote right now we have that available for elite pro and pro 2400 uh companion will be coming soon and all you need to do is on our support site just search for user guide and this is a user guide on just how to operate the remote control it doesn't talk about the hub and all the cool features and all the techy geeky stuff which for a lot of people in the household they don't even need to know they just need to know how to use the remote. So we've created a very user-friendly, print-friendly QRC code as well for a mobile app that you can leave uh, with your customers. And consumers can look it up online themselves as well. And talking a little bit more about that, that control, right? And once they see it all working, the other value that we sometimes don't talk enough about is, yes, you can control these other products with the app like I can control my Sonos with the app and sometimes I want to use the Sonos app because the Sonos does an amazing job searching searching content building initial playlist love the Sonos app Lutron has the, the scene controls on their app but a lot of times what you just want to do is just listen to music and really get to it right away like you know we all work hard we only have so much time so being able to pick up that remote and then doing all this and this talks about some examples of activities I'll give you an example one thing that we use here in the home. So the Harmony knows that I'm right now in the Apple TV activity. So I'm you know, watching Apple TV. If I now go to the dining room, and maybe in the next session we can do a little bit more demoing, we can actually start dinner time. So you grab the remote, start dinner time. Now the Harmony understands, oh, the TV is on. We don't need that for dinner time. I'm gonna turn off the TV. And what I'm gonna do is, instead of using the Sonos play bar here, I'm actually gonna start playing a little dinner jazz in the kitchen and the dining room. And I'm gonna set the kitchen level to volume level 20 and the dining room to 15. So it's grouping it and playing the playlist. And now again, the harmony is just, you press one button and it's doing all this for you, saving you time because you don't have to grab the app, start your playlist, grouping your speakers. Harmony is doing all that for you. So it's like you're, your digital assistant for your entertainment devices. I love that. That, that just makes it so easy and, and adds so much more value. And in doing that, it's just a matter of being creative, really mm -hmm. understanding, you know, what, you know, uh, what can you do and then actually applying it in a, in a really cool way. And the other thing I think that you've told me and shared with me in the past is that whenever you do dinner time, you have some LED candles that also illuminate to really yeah. set the yeah. set the mood there at the house. You know, if it's and, IR so, controllable, we can add it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's just a matter of what can it not do. Really, mm -hmm. is is kind of the question. Yeah. Um, you know, Pike. Thanks for sharing that with us. Is there anything that's coming down the pipe that we might want to you know look forward to? Well, we can't really talk about announcements at this point. What we are doing, we're constantly monitoring feedback from installers as yourself. So I'll just give an example. I just did a webinar for the installer community last week, and I pull up polls to really ask the installers what is important to them. At the same time, what's happening as well is our customer service and our tier three who monitors basically our app and so forth that we roll out is constantly looking at how we can improve things. So. We unfortunately can't really announce anything, especially right now. There is a lot of um, delays with, you know, with COVID-19. So features might not get there at a, at a time that we want to promise. So we don't want to make any commitment to any customer. But that being said, we're constantly looking at ways of uh, improving the uh, user experience. So stay tuned. Yeah, that, that definitely stands out. When you deal with Logitech, you know that they're listening to you. And that's why we're so confident when we specify it to customers. 
that it is this heavily supported evolving platform that's, that's only going to improve you know year after year so there's a good long-term investment now there is a question pike that we ask all our guests that come on it's a little bit mm -hmm. of a curveball at the end of the interview and one caveat you cannot name logitech in this in your answers so of what course. what is the one home tech device that you cannot live without that is a such a hard question and my my home is full of tech <laughs> so it's 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 uh, you know i wish i could name two but i would say um, the most important one would be smart lighting. It's and for so many reasons, you know, they for bedtime for my daughter, I can create these these kind of sequences that are slowly dimming the lights. There, there's a, you know um, an activity on the side. I have you know the companion, so you can quickly grab it while you're putting her to sleep, and then start a harmony activity that really launches the the sonos. But again, without the lighting, the harmony requires that lighting. So that smart lighting is such a value um, that i see in my smart home and then second would be music like can't can't do it without smart speakers uh, so it's uh, you know it's it's that's adds such a quality to your lifestyle from just creating great experiences so we're, we're very lucky having all these these great gadgets now working at home it just Im improves the experience yeah man that's super exciting uh, I, man I, everybody keeps going back to you know, the whole Knowles, man, it's, it's climate control, lighting control, audio, video control, and absolutely something that you cannot live without is that lighting and that audio, man. This is just part of, you know, my culture and, and, and lifestyle. And so, yeah, you're right up there. That So our, our census is kind of saying the same, Gamble. Yeah, I so think it's we're, fun. we're spending Good. so much, we're spending time in our homes now. And I think what's been awesome about the lockdown is I've, had so much heavy use of my home tech i've you know pushed yeah. it to its limits created new scenes started diving into features that i never ever got the time to do you know it's like the you know the carpenter with the wobbly shelves you never get to really <laughs> dig yeah. deep into your own system but i've had great fun setting up some new lighting scenes for the family schedules timers um activities i've created new activities because new apps have come online you know we, We've got new features that, you know, my son is starting to tune in um, and we've been digging into our Wi-Fi system and setting schedules for, uh, you know, screen limitations and time limitations for his devices. So my home tech's been pushed to limit. I'm sure you're, both of you guys as well, have seen your tech driven to, to a new limit during this lockdown. Yeah, no, totally. And then a funny story, actually. My uh, wife, who is in a completely different field, non-tech, she's a nurse and she's doing amazing, amazing work. Mm -hmm. But when we moved into this place a year ago, the first thing she wanted me to do before unboxing things is start installing the smart lighting switches and, and smart bulbs and get things back to how they were in the previous home. So mm -hmm. it just goes to show you once you do it right and make it user friendly, then people start relying on it in the, in the home because it just really improves that lifestyle experience. And people may, you know, anytime when someone says, why should I spend so much for um, a lighting system? When you look at how much you're using it in the home, it's well worth the investment, you know, even from the security benefits, you know, when you're on holidays or when you're not at home yet, or when your kids get home, the lights are on, there's just a lot of value uh, right there. So yeah, couldn't agree more. And Pike, you've, you've, given us a lot of value there a little bit of bonus content at the end there with some really good solid smart home experiences and advice um, and a big shout out to all the smart lighting companies out there but we'd like to thank you for coming on the show pike you've been a great no, guest we're going to get you on again i'm sure uh when this lockdown's over because we'd love to show yeah. our yeah. audience the the facility you have at logitech i know you've visited uh their place jj as well and you're a big fan of this brand jj so i'm sure you've enjoyed having pike on the show oh absolutely i have thoroughly enjoyed the, the logitech product and, and i just stumbled across it by accident i had a client that uh that forced me to program one one time and it absolutely re um it absolutely changed my entire business platform that that experience was so flawless and so easy from what I was was doing for for many years prior 
that we completely retooled our entire business and our approach to delivering home automation and, and integration. And where can and, people get all the lowdown on, on Logitech? Where's the best place for them to go? Your website, social media platforms, where can we find you? The best place to start, I would definitely say, would be our website. We, uh, you can browse all our products right there, all our remotes. And then we have our, our support site, which our support site, which is support.myharmony.com, also has a lot of experience articles. So if you want to see how we work with Lutron, Caseda, or raw to select or Philips Hue, or Sonos, we create these support articles, but also they talk about the experience. So they... Some of them are support focused, but a lot of them also talk about the experience. So that's something I really uh, recommend checking out for sure. Pike, thank you so much for coming on again. JJ, you got anything for us? You know, that, that's, I just love doing these interviews, Gamble. And Pike, thank you so much for, for coming on. My Logitech for making such a fantastic product. And, you know, as we sign off, like we do on every show, if you don't know, ask a home tech pro. So I'm going to give you a quick demo here. I'm going to actually uh, change my camera. It's a good thing I got a great Logitech uh, <laughs> conference cam, the meetup, where cool. I can actually uh, change the angle. Not that angle, so we're going to redo that. This is a small little It's cut. really been a, uh, I don't know if this sounds cliche or not, but it's been a blessing to our business uh, by bringing Logitech on as a control system. I'm going to need a tissue here. <laughs> <laughs> but it has man for real it, it's been an absolute game changer for us it's